Well, good morning, my friends. Back here with you on this Tuesday morning. Uh, verse in God's Word I found this morning, actually saw this in the Bible app, is Psalms 91. I'll uh, start in verse 14. It says, Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him, and I will honor him. I believe this morning that the Lord said he's going to be there for us through the difficult times. I want you to be encouraged today that know that God is right there beside you. He loves you. He cares for you. It kind of reminded me of a song that I wrote again some 30 years ago, and I've added a verse to that. Uh, Jesus loves his children, and he cares for those who call on his name. Listen to the words of this song. When the times get rough And it seems all hope is gone And that mark's not plain You press toward anymore Just put your trust in Jesus Trust Him at His word And His love for you will carry through For Jesus loves children he hears them when they call on his name for his love is deeper wider stronger than the sheep and his love is always there for you and me when the devil's got you down and your back is against the wall You try to get up and walk Then Satan trips you and you fall Just turn your eyes to Jesus And take his outstretched hand He will lead you through the hardest times Right from the sinking sand For Jesus loves his children love is deeper, wider, stronger than the sea, and His love is always there for you and me. So when you're sitting at home alone, just you and your coffee cup, you try to pray and you read God's Word, it doesn't seem to lift you up. Just trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own mind. He promised He'd never forsake you. He promised never to leave you behind. For Jesus loves His children. He hears them when they call on His name. For His love is deeper the sea and his love is always there for you and me for Jesus loves his children he hears them then they call on his name for his love is deep and wider and is stronger than the sea and His love is always there for you and me. And His love is always there for you and me. And again, my favorite verse in the whole Bible says He'll never leave us nor forsake us. It's always there for me. It's always there for you. If you have fear in your heart right now, and maybe you're watching this video, maybe for the first time uh, you've seen any of my videos, I want to encourage you that God loves you right where you are. You may say, well, I've never been to church. I've 
I've never done much in believing in, in God. I, I know he's there, but I just haven't had much to do with him. I want you to know that today he's reaching his hand out to you, saying, if you'll just come and trust me, I'm going to be beside you. Let me help you know that the Bible does not say that nothing bad is going to come your way. The Bible does not say that God's going to put more on you than you can bear. It doesn't say it that way. It says he'll not put more on you than he won't give you a way of escape, that he won't be there right beside you to help you through the hard times. You see, what we're going through in America and our lives right now is something more than any of us can bear alone. We need each other, and we certainly need the Lord to be our source of strength, our source of comfort, our source of peace at this time. So I want to encourage you, if you're looking for that peace, I can certainly tell you how you can receive it. If you'll give me a call, instant message me here on Facebook or call us at the church, leave an email or something, I'll get in contact with you. And I promise you, you can lay your head on your pillow tonight with peace knowing that because he lives, you can face tomorrow. We'll celebrate that Sunday. It's Easter Sunday. This week is a week, Palm, uh, Palm Week, when we think about all the things about Easter upcoming. Christ was crucified on that Friday and he rose again on the third day on Sunday. We'll celebrate Easter. But I want you to know that today he is alive. He lives within my heart. And because he lives, I can face tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Do you have that assurance? If you don't, touch base with me. I can certainly tell you how to have that peace. Between now and then, I want you to know God loves you. I love you. We love you here at Troy First Baptist Church. We want to serve you. If we can help you, you get in touch with us. God bless you. And have a great day.